Hi everyone, welcome to our next video in Photoshop 11. In this video, we're going to take a look at some color corrections or color changes that you can make in a photo. So what I did was I brought a photo in and we're going to take a look at the changes that we can make. So I brought in a photo and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to view and I'm going to view the before and after picture so I can compare the changes that I'm going to make. Now notice that we are in quick mode. Remember Photoshop 11 has a quick mode, has a guided mode, and has an expert mode. For this video we're going to take a look at the quick mode. Now first what we can do is we can click on this exposure tab and the way Photoshop 11 is set up is that the photo in the middle of these nine photos is our original and then it just goes back here if we want to have a lower exposure that would be this photo here photo 4 photo 3 is even a lower exposure all the way down to the first one and then if we go back to the original which is here and we go up a step we can increase the exposure and go to the next one and you can see that is now overexposed maybe that's an effect that we're going for and then the exposure levels even go up so that's how the exposure tool works in the quick mode and we could use our slider here as well next one is called levels and what it does is we can take a look at the levels of the dark colors, if you will, the dark tones, or the mid-tones, or the highlights. And in the next video, we're going to actually look at levels, but we're going to do it in expert mode. So I'm just going to move on from that one. Next one, we can change the color of our photo and there's three different changes you can make in this mode quick mode we can look at the saturation we can look at the hue or we can look at the vibrance if we take a look at saturation again here's our original a photo here usually what you like to do is just have a small increase in saturation or the amount of colors so even going from here to here you can take a look at the back and you can see how the yellow pops up a bit more. If we go to this one here, probably going a little bit too far with saturation, but if we just go up one step here and click on that, you can see that we do actually get some subtle nice changes here. Nice increase in colors here and in her lips and in her face. So that's saturation. Hue, if we go to this one, hue refers more to Looking at, for instance, going here, we can see a real increase in greens, if you will, or this has more increase in blues. Um, this one obviously has an increase in purples. So you can see some radical changes here. You might not want to make any changes in hue, typically. We might not want to do that, but you have that option if you want. If we go to Vibrance, again, we can just take a look at maybe some different changes here and maybe we want to leave the original Maybe you want to pick this one here and make a change in the vibrance level so some color changes that you can make so I'm just gonna bring that one up balance what we can do in balance is we can look at the temperature and we can look at the tint again here's our original one right in the middle if we go back here you can see we see a little bit cooler colors we see more blues if you will and if I go up instead you gonna see a little bit more of the yellows and feels a little bit warmer so maybe I want to make that change maybe that change is a little too much um, but I can make it a change in temperature here we can go a little bit warmer let's do that and there we'll make that change now if we go to tint click on tint and again you could see we're looking at changes in tint which maybe we like and maybe we don't you can see that this here looks a little bit more green 
going this way looks a little bit more red so you can make a change in tint as well very last one here is sharpen and we want to maybe make our photo a little bit sharper depending upon our photo here it looks like the preview mode doesn't seem to work as well in this mode here but if we want to sharpen our photo if we have parts of the photo that seem out of focus then we can go in here and we can use the sharpen mode so there's a whole bunch of changes that you can make these are all found in the quick mode in Photoshop 11 very easy adjustments to make with color so try that for one of your photos see if you can make some nice color adjustments to make our photo better that's it for this one take care we'll talk to you soon